Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on rational functions. Let me again thank Arjun for sharing these beautiful questions. I hope their solutions will help many students. Now, in this particular video, we'll take up four questions related to rational functions. Here is the very first one where we'll try to understand how to find the vertical asymptote, how to evaluate at a particular point, and how to find x and y intercepts for a rational function. Then in the second question, we'll concentrate more on horizontal asymptote of a function. So whenever the degree of numerator and denominator is same, we get a horizontal asymptote. In this case, answer is 2 over 5. We will see how we can get it. Then, in question number 3, we are given the equation, uh, we are given the graph of the function and we have to find the equation from the given graph. Now, based on the vertical asymptotes and x and y intercepts, we should actually get the equation of this particular graph. Here is the last question in which we'll concentrate on how to figure out the whole for the given rational function. As you may recall, whole is when we have a common factor in numerator and denominator. Okay, so in short, that is all we are going to do. So let's begin with question number one now. We are given the function f of x equals to x square minus 4x minus 5 divided by x minus 1. We need to find the vertical asymptote. So for vertical asymptote, equate denominator to 0. So we can say x minus 1 equals to 0, and that gives you x equals to 1 as your vertical asymptote. Perfect. The second is evaluate f of 2. That means you have to substitute x equals to 2 in your equation. So let me do it right here. So, so we'll do f of 2. So that is to say substitute 2 here. So we get 2 square minus 4 times 2 minus 5 divided by 2 minus 1. Correct? So that gives you 4 minus 8 minus 5 over 1. Right? So, so that gives you your answer, which is 4 minus 8 is minus 4, and minus 5 will give you minus 9. So this is equal to minus 9. Then we need to find what is the y-intercept. So to find y-intercept, what should you do? Substitute x equals to 0. That is the point where you have the y-intercept for the given graph. So basically, we'll now find what is f of 0. So when I substitute 0 here, what do I get? f of 0 is 0 minus 0 minus 5 over 0 minus 1, or minus 5 over minus 1. That gives you the value, 5. So the y-intercept is at 0, 5. Perfect. The last part here for this particular question is to find the x-intercept. How do you find x-intercept? For x-intercept, you substitute y equals to 0. That is it, right? So y equals to 0 means f of x is 0. So we'll write 0 equals to x squared minus 4x minus 5, right? So numerator should be 0. Perfect. It doesn't matter. Even if I divide by x minus 1, the numerator should be 0. That is the key, right? So, which is, in our case, x squared minus 4x minus 5. We need to factor this. Product should be minus 5. Sum should be minus 4. That means x minus 5 times x plus 1. So, you have to be good in factoring, correct? So, the two solutions here are x equals to 5 and x equals to minus 1. Remember, in this equation, x is never equal to 1 since that point will give you a vertical asymptote. So the answer here is that x equals to 5 or x equals to minus 1. So the two answers here are the intercepts are at 5, 0 and at minus 1, 0. Perfect. So that is how you are going to answer the very first question. I hope it is absolutely clear. Now let's continue with the second one where we are talking about equation of a horizontal asymptote. We notice that the degree of numerator and denominator is same. So let me rewrite this function. So we have f of x equals to 
2x square divided by 5x square minus 4. Now, if it is a multiple choice question, I could have straight away written my answer as y equals to 2 over 5 as my horizontal asymptote, right? Let me show you how to find that answer. Now, what we will do here is x square x square will actually in the denominator take x square common. So we have 2x square in the numerator. Here, if I take x square common, I get 5 minus 4 divided by x square. Correct? Now, we need to understand what is horizontal asymptote. Right? So I am writing horizontal asymptote HA. What is horizontal asymptote? So when we are trying to figure out what horizontal asymptote is, we are trying to see when x approaches large value, what happens to y? Does it approach a value? We are also trying to find when x approaches negatively large value, what happens to y? Does it approach a value? It could be different values, right? If it does, then we have a horizontal asymptote, right? So in this case, we have taken x square common, so x square could be cancelled. So basically, we are reducing this to 5 over, I mean 2 over 5 minus 4 over x square. Now see what happens when x is very large. Now if x is approaching infinity, that means a large number, in that case, 4 over x square will approach 0, something divided by a very large number, right? x square. So that clearly means that we can approximate this to 2 over 5. Do you see that? So that becomes the horizontal asymptote for the given function. Perfect. It is approaching, right? It will never be there. So therefore, it is a horizontal asymptote. So our answer here is that the horizontal asymptote is y, that horizontal line, y equals to 2 over 5, which quickly you can see from here. Perfect. Now, there could be a question where the degree of denominator is higher than numerator, right? This could have been just x. In that case, y equals to 0 would have been the answer. Okay. Now let's take the next question. Now this is one of the most difficult questions in the given exercise. You need to find the equation of the rational function whose graph is given to you. So you need to analyze the graph itself. What do you notice here? We notice two vertical asymptotes, right? So here is one vertical asymptote. The equation is x equals to 3. And here is another vertical asymptote. The equation is x equals to minus 1. That means if I am looking for my function f of x, in that case, in the denominator, I should have a factor which is x plus 1 and another factor which is x minus 3. Now, these two factors will give rise to these two asymptotes. Does it make sense to you? Perfect. Hmm? Another very important point here is that we have x intercept at 2. That means the function is 0 at 2. So I have a factor here which is x minus 2. If I substitute 2 here, then I get 0 in the numerator. So that gives you this particular point. Do you see that x intercept? Now, to get the exact equation, I have to look into y intercept also. So what I do here is to find the y intercept, I will have to substitute x equals to 0. So if I substitute x equals to 0 in this particular equation, I get 2 over 3, right? So 2 over 3 is just this point or not? Yes, it is, since it is slightly less than 1, right? So what we observe here is that f of 0 is minus 2, because this is 0, over minus 3, or it is equal to 2 over 3. So, which matches with the y-intercept, which is this point, correct? So, that is your y-intercept. This is your x-intercept. So, we have taken care of all these important criterias. 
also the degree of numerator is one lower than that of denominator so we have a horizontal asymptote which is y equals to zero does make sense to you so clearly the function which we have written is just the right answer so we wrote a function from the given information and then we checked found it correct so that is how you're going to do it perfect next question which is the last question so here we need to find the coordinates of hole remember coordinates of hole right so hole we should have a common factor so let me rewrite the function it is f of x equals to x plus 1 over x square plus 4x plus 3 so we need to factor correct so let's factor the denominator we get x plus 1 in the numerator 3 times 1 is 3, so we get x plus 3 times x plus 1. Let me remind you once again, you have to be really good at factoring when working with rational expressions or rational equations, right? So what do you notice here? These two cancel away. So we get this as equal to 1 over x plus 3, where x is not equal to minus 1. After you cancel, if you don't write this condition, that means they are not equivalent, right? We can clearly see that x is not equal to minus 3. Perfect. Okay. So we could write restrictions here that x is not equal to minus 3 and minus 1. Perfect. So where is the hole? So hole is at x equals to minus 1. To really find the point, what you should do? You have to plug in the value minus 1. So we'll find what is f of minus 1 equals to. So when you substitute minus 1 here, you get 0, right? So, so when I substitute minus 1 here, we get minus 1 plus 1 over minus 1 square plus 4 times minus 1, right? Minus 1 square plus 3. Since the numerator is 0, we get 0. So we have a whole at minus one zero so whole is at x value is minus one the y value is zero correct so that is the point where we have a hole for this particular function so i hope you understand the concepts right so the whole reason is that we have a common factor in numerator and denominator for the whole perfect so that is how you find it so i hope it's absolutely clear coordinates means you have to give both x and y coordinates right so that is how we are going to uh, solve this particular uh, series of questions and i hope that helps you to review the concepts learned in rational functions and move forward Thanks a lot for sharing Arjun once again and I hope many others will also like it. Feel free to write your comments and share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.